Hi everyone and welcome to Reframing with Dawn and today I wanted to talk about um, this thought virus, this experience that so many of us have which is people pleasing, the people pleaser uh, condition let's call it. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I haven't yet come across any of my friends, uh, maybe one or two um, of my friends who don't have the people pleasing um, thought virus about themselves. And that is this idea that we put other people before us and feel like we can't do anything but that. That, that is a hardwired experience in us and therefore we just keep playing it out over and over and over again. So what I want to do today is reframe this experience of the people pleaser because I truly believe, to my, the best of my experience and having watched and coached people through people pleasing, is that uh, there is a reframe in here. There's a, a, a shadow aspect of the people pleaser and then there's a gift of the people pleaser. So let's dive into what I mean. So some of the normal things that you will hear a people pleaser, quote unquote, because that's a label in itself. The label in itself, before we go into it, is automatically something that um, is part of this victim mentality, is as part of this idea that we are less than. So already by calling ourselves a people pleaser, we are automatically saying that I can't change, that I am powerless to change, and this is how I'm made, and I'm not, I don't know how to get out of it. So that's point one. But some of the things that you will likely hear a people pleaser say are things like, I am too kind, uh, I am a pushover, hands up if you've ever thought or said that one out loud. Um, I let anyone do whatever they want and I just allow it to happen. Or I allow it to happen and then I feel really bitter and unhappy or martyr about it. Um, I hate conflict. I don't like standing up for myself because I don't like the feeling that conflict creates. I don't like that awkward feeling afterwards as well. It feels very intense. Um, there's something fundamentally wrong with me. That's often something that we think when we're a people pleaser. There's definitely something wrong with me. I am not made properly. Uh, something, I am missing a key core component of myself. Um, and yeah, there's just this implication that I am made badly. So... What if those are the shadow aspects? What if we want to focus on the gift aspects of what it means to be a people pleaser? Because guaranteed, there are some really beautiful things that underline that are part of this experience. So, uh, I am kind. People pleasers are generally kind. They are very, very kind and they believe that kindness is their... Uh, something that's not good for them but actually I believe that kindness is the answer to fundamental change within this world, this society, the way that we're created and the way we're creating our experiences right now. Kindness is key, kindness to ourselves and kindness to each other in thought, word and deed, kindness is key. So to even imagine that being kind is wrong is wild isn't it? It's absolutely wild because it's, I believe, part of the real, our gift. We are here with the kindness gift. Um, let's see. Kind communication. I just want to reiterate on that because so many of the times that we relate to our friends, our partners, our families, we are in a reactive state. And if we truly embody this kindness experience that we have, that we can feel inside of our hearts, then we create kind communication, which can fundamentally change our experience with our relationships. Um, let's see. What about, uh, I am kind on purpose. There is no mistake here. 
absolutely no mistake to why I am kind. What about that? What about if the reason that you are kind is here for a reason? That is the reason. Uh, and you are conditioned to be a product of your environment. You have been conditioned to be a product of your environment, which means that there is nothing wrong with you. It's just a question of reconditioning yourself to find acceptance, deep allowing and acceptance for the gifts of being kind. Finding ways to be really, truly at ease with your boundaries and with your sense of worth and know that those are such important experiences to hold within this time right now. Um, and my the last thing I want to talk about and share about this people pleasing is this I want let's release this idea of being less than Let's release these ideas that we hold about ourselves that keep us small, that keep us believing that we are in this shadow realm, this shadow experience of people pleasing. So I release myself of believing that I am less than. I release myself of believing that kindness is a fault. I release myself from believing that I am made wrongly. I release myself from believing that I am not made perfectly and with purpose and on purpose. So I just, I'm going to leave that with you to uh, filter through your experience, see how that lands with you, how that resonates with you. And I am going to encourage you to really turn around your experience of looking at yourself and labelling yourself as a people pleaser. How about calling yourself something like I am a radical kindness warrior or I am radically uh, kind or something that empowers your experience rather than keeping you feeling less than and small. All right. That's reframe for the people pleaser. I'm sure there's more to talk about that. But for now, if you're uh, if you would like to know more, I've got a you can sign up to my newsletter through the link tree uh, link in my bio, and you can download the four ways to uh, create strong and healthy boundaries, and that will be delivered straight into your inbox. In the meantime, take care, have a lovely day, share this with your friends who are also people pleasers and let's change this paradigm of being less than. All right, have a good day. Take care.